bei der zweiten ist noch drücken. Nee, nee, das ist bei den neuen Teilen ist es weit. Aber hier ist es stark. This guide shows how to play Mario Kart Double Dash with a computer, a projector, and eight game pads using the Dolphin emulator. This guide assumes that the Dolphin emulator is already configured for operation with four instances. A link to a guide for setting up the Dolphin emulator can be found in the video description. You will need the following. 4x input game pads such as Xbox Series X game pads. 4 direct input game pads such as PlayStation 4 game pads. To connect Xbox game pads to your computer you need any kind of wireless adapter compatible with Xbox One game pads. If your computer does not have an integrated Bluetooth interface you need as well any kind of Bluetooth dongle to connect PS4 game pads. Windows supports a maximum of 4x input game pads. The official Bluetooth specifications states, 7 is the maximum number of Bluetooth devices that can be connected at once. However, 3 to 4 devices is a practical limit, depending on the types of devices and profiles are used. I don't know if it is possible or practical to use two Bluetooth dongles in parallel to connect 8D input gamepads to the computer. I fear an unreliable or delayed processing of the gamepad inputs. You need a computer or laptop that can run four instances of the Dolphin emulator in parallel. As well a projector or a very large TV with the lowest possible input lag. If available, use the game mode of your device. With all that, including any kind of sound system, set up you are ready to start. You can find a list of the hardware I used in the video description. First connect the Xbox game pads to your computer using the pairing button. Connecting to the PS4 game pads can be a little trickier. Follow the guides available on the internet. Start four instances of the Dolphin emulator. Make sure that two game pads are assigned to each Dolphin instance and that the game pads have been configured in the emulator. In the game pad selection in the emulator, 4x input game pads and 4d input game pads should be available now. The easiest way is to create a gamepad profile once in the emulator and then load it for the other gamepads. Now you can start Mario Kart Double Dash for each of the four Dolphin instances in parallel. Select LAN Play for each instance. After some time, a countdown starts on each Dolphin instance. All four instances should connect successfully. Choose the kind of split screen you need. You can have one or two players per Dolphin instance. Two players can drive together on one cart or each drive their own cart. There is no possibility to select carts and drivers in LAN mode, these are distributed randomly by the game. When playing multiplayer with eight players, we noticed a delay between gamepad command and impact on the screen. I'm not sure what part of this delay is due to the signal transmission and processing of the gamepads and what part is due to the image display of the projector. However, the game is very playable in this form with 8 players. All players have to compensate for the same delays, which are not too long and are easy to get used to. Have fun playing! Das kann doch nicht sein, dass ich jetzt schon ein, ein Ding kriege. Ich denke. Also, ich suche ein bisschen zu früh für Worte heute. Wie war für das? Nee, denn das ist. Was? <lacht> Ey, hey. was? Was war das für ein Lag, Alter? Das war ein komischer Lag, Alter. Und ich bin halt voll auf die Wiese gelandet, Alter. Ich bin jetzt zwar zu much. Ich bin jetzt einfach Achter, ich war gerade Zweiter. Alter, ich krieg keine Kiste hier. Äh, 